These five lines make up a stave And notes it on the lines or in a space Both time and key signature at the start But what is that, some crazy modern art? It's a clef, a treble clef it's not a curly squiggle or a mess It started as a G, became more and more fancy Till it finally became what we all call a treble clef The centre of the G Shows you where the G will be And it's not just any G, it's the one above middle C That's all you need to know about the treble clef If you play an instrument that's low Lower than the treble clef can go You would lose your mind Reading endless ledger lines So there's another clef that you should know It's bass clef It's called bass clef A curvy C that started as an F on the line between the dots, just a second from the top In bass clef it is on that line that you will find an F The clef, the playing low For example on trombone On bassoon or on cello Or left hand on piano That's all you need to know about the bass clef When you play piano you can see both clefs with treble for the right bass in the left There's a shared note on the ledger line between What extra special note could that one be? Middle C It's middle C In the middle just like it's supposed to be on the line that's in the space between treble and the bass It's there that you will find the note that we call middle C That's all you need to know About clefs both high and low The treble and bass clef from a G and from an F That's all you need to know about the treble and bass clef